Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be looking at gate deviations. In a previous video, we looked at the normal gate cycle. You need to master that before moving to this video. But once you've mastered that, now we can start looking at gate deviations. And these are super important to understand because a small deviation in gait can lead to a host of different issues. Wear and tear on joints where they shouldn't be, overworking muscles, uh, muscles getting tight where they shouldn't be. And that incorporates not just uh, patients who are recovering from an injury to just try to walk again or elderly patients, but that also deals with our athletes as well. Having that understanding of the gait cycle will help us understand why we have deviations and then eventually we'll have a video on how to treat those things. So when you're watching this video, three things to think about. The first two are the most important right now. Number one, can you see the deviation? So when I walk with the deviation, can you tell which one it is? And then number two, can you theorize as to why that deviation exists? And if you can do that, then you can start developing ways of treating things. In this video, I'm gonna talk about multiple different deviations. Two major areas are the swing phase and stance phase of gait and then understanding which phase that's in. And then also, like I said, can you pick it out, what the deviation is and what is causing the deviation? So the first one we're gonna start with is foot drop. So with foot drop, you actually have an inability to dorsiflex that ankle. So your anterior tib is super weak, probably a two or lower with your MMT scores. With this, obviously your leg's gonna be longer. Now this itself is not a deviation because <laughs> that you necessarily see by itself, because if you did, I'd be tripping all the time. So what happens is you create a new deviation to compensate for that inability to dorsiflex. And you'll see that a lot of times with a high steppage gait, and it'll look like this. So you see, I don't have heel strike coming down on my toes and I have extra hip flexion. So you see this, this is high steppage gait caused by the foot drop. Another gait pattern that you might see as a compensation is circumduction, coming out to the side. Circumduction also, if I can't flex the knee, a lot of times you'll see that one. Also, if I have weak hip flexors, if I can't flex my hip, I'm gonna circumduct as well. And then another one is called vaulting, where I'm gonna lift up on this so that I can have some clearance for this swing like here. Go to the side so you can see this. Just like that. I don't have uh, very big calves, so my heel raise is pretty low. So that's probably not a compensation or a deviation I'd be doing. And then you have hip hike, where I'm gonna literally hike this hip up to try to get the leg shorter so that I can swing it through. So this is some swing leg issues. Uh, then you have, besides foot drop and those deviations, you have what's called foot slap. And this one, you have heel strike, but you don't have eccentric control into foot flat. So what you'll see is heel strike, slap. Heel strike, slap. And that's foot slap, which means anterior tibs getting weak. We're going to be having foot drop pretty soon. Now we have the weakness deviations. So if I have a weak quad, again, with heel strike, my quad should be contracting eccentrically or I'm going to fall forward. So what am I going to do? I'm going to lean forward to slam that knee back into extension which obviously isn't good because we're not dealing with the quad issue of strength, but we're also hyperextending and stretching out that posterior capsule, which is gonna lead to a host of other knee problems, all right? So I had to lean forward to push into extension. Now, what about a weak glute max gait? I'm gonna lean back on those glutes because my glutes keep me from falling forward. So if they're weak, I'm gonna go ahead and lean back on that Y ligament, walk around nice and relaxed like this, just leaning back. And that is your weak glute max gait. Then we have the Trendelenburg gait pattern, and there's a couple things with this. Remember, a positive Trendelenburg sign, standing on one leg, contralateral dropping of the pelvis, okay? So with this one, on the stance leg, it's a stance leg problem, you're gonna see my hip go out, like that, which really means this hip is, side is dropping down, okay? And we can have that on both sides, drop, 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 drop. That is technically called an uncompensated gait pattern for the Trendelenburg gait. To compensate for it, I'm gonna to lean to the weakness, lean to this weak side. 
So you see I'm leaning, my hip's not shooting out because I'm leaning to the weak side. And just like with the uncompensated, we can have that compensated Trendelenburg on both sides as I walk. All right. So make sure you go through those. I mean, this, this video itself is pretty short, but there's all the, all I'm trying to do is show you the different gait patterns and give you an idea of some of the causes. So hope you guys got a lot out of that video. I know it's really short and there's a lot of information in that video, but watch that thing a few times, take some notes on the side and start really driving into your head the gait deviations, because that's going to go a long way into your ability to treat yourself, treat other people, to just understand this really basic concept for humans, which is gait. It is our number one way to locomote, to move forward or to move around our environment. Make sure you keep hammering that in to find those deviations, because if you can't find the deviation and know the cause, you're never going to be able to treat and fix it. We have the old video that talks about normal gait cycle. We have this that talks about deviations, and then we're going to be working into treatment for the these different deviations later on. But please make sure to hit subscribe down here and check out other videos in the link over here.